Greg from LearnHomesteading.com and this morning I'm going to teach you how to make yogurt at home. I was a little intimidated at first by making yogurt or the, I thought it would be more complicated than it is. It's pretty simple. And you know, I've done it with ultra pasteurized milk and I've done it with raw milk. This morning I'm doing it with raw milk. First thing you do is just put it in a pan and heat it up to 180 degrees. And so I went and bought a little thermometer. This is actually a meat thermometer. It's the only thing I could find around here. So I got it, it works, and you can heat it up to 180, you don't want to go above that. And once you hit 180, you're just going to turn it off and let it drop down between 110, well, 100, 110 range. You don't want it to, if you put in your, your culture, your yogurt, above 120, it'll kill it. Now once you've hit 180, I just dump it into a some kind of glass container. You can do jars or whatever. I just use this casserole dish because you're going to stick it in the oven with the, just the oven light on. And you'll leave it in there for around 8 to 12 hours. Now I'm going to let this cool off. So I hit 180. I'm going to let it cool down to about 110. I'm going to turn on the oven light and then I'll light it up and just get it warm in there. You want it to stay warm for that 8 to 12 hours. And the oven light will do it if you heat it up and it works fine. So I wanted to just talk about pricing here. We do our own yogurt because it's, it's healthier. We know it's there. A liter of yogurt where I am costs about $4, and a liter of milk where I am costs about a dollar. And so for a little, little bit of work here on the stove, mix in uh, the culture, and then you know, 8 to 12 hours later, you have your own yogurt. And then, as we've been traveling around, it's impossible, or it's been impossible so far to find Greek yogurt. And I'll show you how to do that. We love honey Greek yogurt and we've been making it at home and loving it. So you got to prepare your culture because it needs to be at room temperature. So what you do is you take, you can either buy a culture, a yogurt culture, or you can just use some old yogurt. So I have yogurt that we made up a few nights ago. And so you got to get it out and get it at room temperature. You're going to use about two tablespoons of yogurt for each liter uh, of milk you're using. I, I'm not one of those guys to measure. And so I just took a little bit of yogurt here. And then one of the things I, I learned and I've tried is putting a little bit of uh, powdered milk in. You can do that or not do that. For this much, maybe maybe half a cup of powdered milk and probably you know half a cup of yogurt. And it needs to be at room temperature, so we'll just let it sit out and uh, warm up until again you get your milk down to about 110 degrees. The milk has dropped to 110 degrees. I just kept the thermometer in there. It's dropped to 110. And the yogurt that I have out is at close to room temperature. So now I'm going to take a couple of cupfuls of the milk and mix it in with the yogurt. And you got to mix it really, really well so it gets all, it's all those little cultures out of the yogurt and gets it mixed in very well. So I'm going to, I'll spend some time mixing this really well. Then what I'll do after I mix it all up, make sure it's all in there. I'm going to mix in some of this powdered milk. Again, I don't measure. Let's put in some. And then get that all mixed in and then we'll mix it. Just take it. Um, after I mix it up, I'll just mix it in, dump it all back in there and then it's ready to go in the oven. So you just mix it in really well. Make sure it gets all stirred up. Uh, some people even mix it up in their blender. They just make sure that all these little probiotics get all mixed in with the milk. Now, like I told you, I'll turn on the oven. I'll just light it up. Just, I don't know, maybe a minute, maybe 30 seconds. You don't want to get too hot. You just get it nice and warm, then close it up, leave the light on, and then it'll stay, it'll stay warm enough in there for 8 to 12 hours. Okay, after 8 to 12 hours in the oven with just the oven light on, this is what your yogurt will look like. Okay? Nice and yummy. So you have a couple options now. You can either do Greek yogurt, and look for a link to our video on how to make Greek yogurt in the, below the video. Or you can add honey, you can add fruit, uh, you can mix it up how you'd like. One of my favorite snacks is Greek yogurt or yogurt mixed with honey and homemade granola. And so watch for a video with homemade granola and for Greek yogurt and visit LearnHomesteading.com and sign up for our How to Be Self-Sufficient video.